story will be just as wonderful, but does this mean that we maybe see more running from the Ducks? I don't know as far as offensively. I mean, uh, Marks is not here. Everybody knows that. But uh, I would like to think that we keep the same offense mindset. But, I mean, it all depends on what the season brings us on. We would just flow with it, and the offensive coordinators and offensive coaches know what's best for offense. How many carries per game are you expecting? I don't, I don't, it really doesn't matter. When the coach calls my number, I, I should be ready to go. How different will the run game be? I mean, Gronis is gone, Eric's gone, Tyler's coming back off injury. It's a much different offensive line this year. Uh, what's it going to be like for you? Yeah, there's some offensive linemen missing, but we also have some returning. Uh, Tyler Cosby, Jake Wasarchi, uh guys like that, Cameron Hunt. So, I mean, we should we have guys that should know what to do, and then we're just um, replacing and filling in and just keeping with the process. You know, right now, you're the most recognizable name on that Oregon offense. Do you see yourself as a leader of this unit, even though you're just a sophomore? Yeah, age, age shouldn't matter. We have horizontal leadership. So, I mean, for me to step up in the offensive side, uh, as far as, and also the team, uh, and step up and be a leader, uh, that's an important role, and I, I just want to focus on embracing it. What, what kind of leadership qualities did you learn from Marcus Mariota? Uh, Marcus, I mean, they, they told me he wasn't always like a vocal leader and something like that. He grew into the role, and then once he was established as that role, from what I saw, he was a, a tremendous leader. I um, always looked up to him, and people followed not only his actions, but what he said and everything everything that came with. So I'm going to let my actions um, speak and then also express some vocality for my, for my team. Do you see yourself as maybe becoming the face of the team now? I mean, I think we have many faces. Uh, we have a lot of weapons returning, a lot of guys coming back that have played before, so uh, we don't have one significant or distinct face. Uh, I think we're all trying to help each other around and put as many points on the board as we can. How do you see the competition unfolding between you and Thomas, and how do you think you guys are going to use this year? I think we'll probably be used similarly um, as to last year. Uh, we complement one another, bring different things to the table and give each other rest when needed to impose our will on uh, running the ball on def um, against the defenses. Do you prefer that, or would you want 400 carries? I mean, it doesn't matter. Whatever, like I said, whenever the coach calls, whenever I should be ready. So, I mean, there's times when either one of us might have to step up or do a little extra or do a little less. I mean, um, it's just Coach Cam is going gonna, gonna to maneuver us the way he best knows how. Do you feel more of a burden on your shoulders this year with no Mariota? No, I don't. Because there are the three of you running and everything, are you guys close? Do you guys uh, train? Do you guys like work together? Uh, ben like, do you benefit from each other? As far as me and Thomas? Yeah. Yeah, we do benefit from one another. I mean, uh, we, we look at each other's games and we try to compliment each other, but we also try to challenge one another and take parts of each other's game and incorporate them into our own. Is there more pressure on you guys to produce offensively like you did last year? No, I don't feel there's more the more pressure. Um, I feel like we lost quarterbacks in the past um, as far as University of Oregon goes, and we've always replaced it and put many points up on the board um, throughout the season. So whoever comes at quarterback, you pump up whoever lines up behind center? Yes. Royce, everyone talks about the uniforms and the facilities and all that. Uh, for you, which is uh, the program that you kind of like uh, from a uniform standpoint, not not Oregon in the conference? Um, in the conference? Well, Arizona State has some pretty nice uniforms. Uh, I see them. <laughs> what, what about them do you like? I like the, the smoke white, the white they have. It's pretty clean. What was the experience like for you last year playing in all those big games, you know, three in a row, Pac-12 championship game, bowl game, and then uh, champion, national championship? What was that like for you as a freshman? Yeah, it was crazy because I can remember being in high school with my high school friends and kind of, you know, joking about it and like, what if you make the championship, this, this, and that. That could be you, you know, I'm not trying to get ahead of myself. And then actually when I got to that stage and end of the season, I was like, this stuff is real. And we were all talking about it with my friends. It just it is so surreal that I was at that moment in time. It's especially exciting because you're going from one big game and then there's another one. 